obviously we were thrilled to be here, and I, th I think we're you know, deserving and, and really proud of our group uh, for for what they've achieved as on the whole as as a season, uh, but also you know yesterday and and um, you know advancing. Um, you know we didn't we didn't play our best match, which is unfortunate. You know credit uh, Minnesota for uh, making us a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I thought there were times where I thought we started playing well towards the second set, it just. Uh, maybe didn't make Minnesota uh, pay for you know, when they were out of system or didn't pass as well. Um, but uh, you know, and I like the, the way we played in the third set. We just uh, you know didn't didn't happen fast enough, and by then Minnesota was in a, in a nice rhythm. So uh, they're a good team, and, and you have to play well to to beat them, and that's a good learning experience for uh, for our team to understand what it takes to be competitive and, and uh, put yourself in position to beat other really good teams, which obviously Minnesota is. Um, but uh, you know. It usually doesn't end well for, for most teams. That you, um, everyone but one uh, ends the season with a loss, um, and usually you know you feel like you could have played a little bit better. Um, so we'll, we'll try to process that, but at the same time we're, we'll try to move on and understand that uh, how how proud we are of this group for what they achieved, um, both in the regular season and uh, obviously yesterday earning earning a win in the NCAA tournament. So uh, you know maybe it'll take us a little bit of time to get over. Um, not performing to the way we'd have liked, but eventually I think we'll get there and, and, and feel pretty good about this season. We'll open up for questions for Coach and our student athletes. Coach, Minnesota has had balanced scoring all season long and they really spread the, the ball around tonight. How difficult is that for, for a team to face a team where all the hitters are swinging so well? Yeah, you, when they're in system, I mean, they're, they're, when you get a top team in the country that has physical of attackers as they do, um, you, know, you, you try to get a touch when you can, but really the, the best thing you can do is, is try not to let them be in that situation very often. Um, I, I thought we you know, made it a little bit too easy for them the first set, and uh, they're too good to, uh, you know, when you make it easy. I, th I, re I thought second set we started getting them out of system, um, but they were still able to get kills um, you know, out of system in, in the second set. Um, and, and the third set we started finally get, turning some of those out of system opportunities to transition which at this level is really all you're going to probably get. You, maybe you steal one or two points in system, but you have to try to win those out of system points. Um, and and uh, you know they were just able to, to score on a couple of those that you know if we can get a, a swing to kill or, or get a block, uh, you know maybe it lets us go on a run. Courtney, can you discuss that as well? The fact that you can't really defensively key in on just one or two girls. Right. I mean, you just have to. You got to go with what you're taking and read the best that we can. And we really didn't. Um, I think we did the best of our ability tonight on that um, because they were having three hitters attacking very well. Um, so that's just something that we can work on in the spring and get better for next year. Aubrey, what was the atmosphere like to play in here, particularly in an arena where it's, it's such tight quarters and on your ends in particular, the, the crowd is so close to you? Um, you know, back home in South Carolina, our gym is very small. So, I mean, we're used to the up closeness, but I guess maybe not as many people. Um, comparisons are in a smaller gym to oh, that size of a gym. It's um, a large difference. But, you know, I mean, it's just awesome to see the atmosphere, you know, getting further uh, returners to be able to have that um, under their belt for next season. It's awesome.